Okay, so let's have an example. Uh, considering with uh, a determinate beams with a uh, fixed uh, support. So we, for example, we have this uh, beam ABC. So span AB, no load. Span BC carrying a load of a varying load that is 6 kN per meter. EI is constant. Let us assume that there is no uh, support settlement. So we are to use Three moment equation. Uh, this is the equation if we don't have support, settlement, and the moment of inertia is constant. Then we have all right. So to start the analysis. So as we can see, if we directly substitute all the assumed unknowns, for example, we are we are looking for uh, the moment at A and the moment at B and the moment at C. So if we directly consider the span ABC, okay, we will be having one equation. So it will, it will result to one equation. But as you can see, we have three unknowns, so we cannot do that uh, directly. So the first step is, uh, first, introduce an imaginary span just before the fixed support and just after the fixed support at uh, C. So let us introduce an imaginary span. Uh, let's say the length is L sub O with a moment of uh, uh, O. So let's say this is a uh, point O. So if you have to substitute, that is M sub O multiplied by L sub O plus our middle support this time is okay, at A. So that is twice the moment at A multiplied by okay, our le the length of the span on the left side is L sub O. Plus the length of the moment on the right side, uh, the length of the beam on the right side is uh, A. Plus our third point here is the moment at B, then the length of the span on its left side is 8 meters. Plus we have 6A1, A1 divided by L1, plus we have 6A sub 2, B sub 2 divided by L sub 2 is equal to uh, 0. So take note, we, uh, we introduced this imaginary span. A imaginary span with an imaginary moment. Since it is an only, uh, it is only an imaginary span, uh, that moment and length is the same as, as zero. So the purpose is just to establish your equation. You know naman yung purpose niya, just to establish the equation. So we have it, this is, uh, 16 moment at A okay, plus 8 times the moment at B equal to okay. so what about these values the 6A1 over L1 then 6A to B over L sub 2 as you can see for span AB and since this is just an imaginary span okay, that makes these terms a zero okay, that is okay, equal to uh, zero. So this will be our first equation. We have 16 moment A plus A times the moment of B equal to zero. Okay, this is for the span. Okay, we, we consider the span O, A, B. So that's our first span. Span O, A, and R, B. Okay, the, so next span is we are, we are going to consider span A, B, C. Okay, so let this be our okay, equation number one. So we proceed to the next span, span A, B, C. Okay, so let us consider the next uh, two spans. We have span A, B and span uh, B, C. So let us establish our uh, three-moment equation. That is, a moment at A. I will divide by length number 1 plus our middle support here is moment at B. So this is twice. We have twice the moment at B divided by L1 plus L sub 2 plus the third point is moment at C divided by the length of the span on the left side. That is length number 2 plus 6 A1 A1 divided by L sub 1 plus 6 times A sub 2 B sub 2 divided by L sub 2 is equal to I see it up. So if we are to substitute the values, this is the moment at A, L1 is 8 meters plus twice, moment at B, L1 is 8, L2 is 6 plus 
the moment at C, we have L sub 2 is 6. Okay, plus, or this is moment at C, 6A1, A1 divided by L sub 1 plus 6A sub 2, B sub 2, where L sub 2 is equal to a 0. So we have the equation, this is a 8 moment at A plus, okay, 40 times 2, we have this is uh, 28 times the moment at B plus this is 6 times the moment at C A plus we have 6A1 A1 divided by L1 plus 6 times A2 uh, B sub 2 uh, divided by L sub 2 is equal to uh, 0 so as you can see here we don't have a loading for uh, span AB so if we are to assume or uh, separate that span, we don't have the load, so which means uh, the spans are the term for the statical moment area, this is A1, A1 over L1 is basically equal to uh, 0. So we are just to consider, uh, we are just to consider the second span, span BC. So we are to separate this span, then assume it to be simply supported. And this is 6 kN, um, 6 kN per meter. So what will be the support reaction? So 6 times 6, 36, uh, divided by 2 is 18. 18 times 4 over uh, 6. Uh, that will be the same as, so we have 18 multiplied by, 18 by 4 over 6. So we have a reaction on the right side of 12 kilonewtons. So 12 minus uh, 18, that is the same as uh, 6 kilonewtons on the left side. So let us draw the corresponding uh, diagram. Alright, so take note this is for the value of 6A to B sub 2, that is with respect to the right end. So I'll be choosing uh, the right end as my uh, reference point. That is 6 times 6. We have this is okay, 36. That is 6 times 6 multiplied by uh, 6 times 6 over 2 multiplied by 2 is negative uh, 36. So we have to compute for the equivalent of 6 or first the equivalent of a sub 2 b sub 2 that is equal to okay, for the positive area that is 1 half of 6 multiplied by 36. It's a centroid towards the left, uh, towards the right end, this distance, and then you're B sub 2. Uh, that will be the same as one third of uh, 6. I plus, okay, the negative moment area, that is 1 over, okay, so as you can see, what is the degree of the loading? That is first degree. The degree of its shear diagram will be second degree. So if you are to proceed with the moment, this will be third degree. For the area, that is the degree of the curve plus 1, the base is 6 times negative 36. Multiplied by S, how far is the centroid towards the right end? This is its equivalent B sub 2. That is 1 over the degree of the curve 3 if, if it is centroid plus 2. Multiplied by uh, 6. So what will be the equivalent of A to B sub 2? We have... This is equal to 756 uh, over 5. So A to B sub R2. So the equivalent of and we have the equivalent of A sub 2, B sub 2 over L sub 2. We have this is 6 times 756 divided by 5 by all over. And what is the length of the span L sub 2? That is 6 meters. 
So which means this is the same as 756 over 5. So if we are to uh, simplify our equation, that will be 8 times a moment at A plus we have 28 times the moment at B okay, plus a 6 times the moment at C is now equal to transpose ko lang, negative 756 over uh, 5. So this is the equivalent moment equation for, for the span ABC. Let us assume this is our equation number uh, 2. Okay, so for the last span, okay, for the last span, okay, so we introduce an imaginary span just before a fixed support. In the same way, we need to introduce an imaginary span just after the fixed uh, support. So we are to consider the span B, C, let's say, A, B. Okay, so let us now consider span B, C, D. So again, uh, this span is okay, imaginary. So an imaginary span, let's say, L sub 3 and a moment D. Okay? So let us stop this our equation. So our first point is B, that is the moment at B. Okay, modified by we have 6 meters plus twice what is our middle support? That is point C. That is twice. Okay, the moment at C modified by the length we have 6 plus L sub at 3 plus. We have the moment at D, okay, modified by the span on the left, that is L sub 3, plus 6 A1, A1, divided by L1, okay, plus we have 6 A sub 2, B sub 2, divided by L sub 2 is equal to uh, 0. So, okay, we have 6 A1, A1, that is the statical moment area on the left side. Okay, we have that value since we have this moment area on the left side for the span BC. Alright, take note, this is the statical moment area for span BC. Uh, this one is for span CD. But as you can see, we have again, if this is just an imaginary span, just to establish our equation, that is the purpose of this imaginary span. Alright, uh, this value is 0. Moment of D is also imaginary, this is the same as 0. Uh, so let us compute this time what is the equivalent of A1, A1. Okay. So take note, it is on the left, it should be with respect to point uh, B. So we need the centroids towards uh, point B. This is 2 over 3 of 6. Well, this one, okay, this is the same as we have 6 minus, okay, 6, minus uh, 6 over uh, 5. That is 3 over uh, 2. So let us compute the equivalent of A1, A1. So again, with respect to point B, with respect to the left end of the span B, C, D. So for the area of the positive moment area, 1 half of 6, the height is 36. It's centroid towards point B, that is 2 over 3 of 6 meters. Okay, plus, I we have... Okay, that is for the negative area, 1, the degree of the curve, again, this is a third degree curve. Okay, we have 1 third of 6 multiplied by negative 36. It's a centroid is, okay, we have 6 meters minus 1, the degree of the curve, plus 2, multiplied by a 6. Okay, it's the same as 6 minus 6 over 5. Okay, let us compute the equivalent of A1. A1. A supposedly correction, it should not be one third. That is the degree of the curve plus one. If you are computing for the area.
I just have the value of 864 over uh, 5. So for the equivalent of 6A1A1 divided by L1, this is the same as okay, our L1 for this type, for this side that uh, it's 6 meters. Okay, that is the length on the left side. Considering your right, uh, right span, a uh, left span, since your right span is an imaginary. So this is the same as 864 over 5 okay, divided by 6. So we have 6 A1, A1 over L1, that is for span BCD is equal to uh, the same, 864 over 5. So we are having our equation. That is 6 times the moment at B plus okay, L sub 3 is also 0. This is 12 moment at C. Then okay, plus 864 over 5 equal to uh, 0. So we are having the equation 6 uh, moment at B plus 12 moment at C. Is equal to negative 864 over 5. So let this be our equation number 3. So we have three equations, three unknowns. We can solve for those uh, three moments the moment of A, B, and C. So I will go. So we have the equation 16 times the moment A plus 8 times the moment B equal to 0. That is equation 1 considering the span OAB. Then we have 8 times the moment A plus 20 times the moment B plus 6 times the moment C is equal to negative 756 over 5. That is equation 2 considering the actual span of the beam ABC. Then we have the last span that is for span uh, BCD. We have 6 times the moment B. I multiplied by uh, 6 times the moment B plus 12 moment C is called negative 864 over 5. So let us compute for uh, the moments. We have the value of moment at A, so I go to, this go to 1.54 at 3 kilonewton meter. Then the moment at B is equal to negative 3.086 kilonewton meter. And lastly, we have the moment at C. Is equal to negative 12.857 kilonewton meter. So these are the moments per support. Uh, we have upper support. We have support A, B, and C. So when it comes to fixed support, if you're using three moment equation, all you have to do is okay, the introduction of an imaginary span with ima an imaginary moment is needed. Just to establish your three moment equation. Right, this is our example.